Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here back again with the Second Hand Vism Shop. Uh, today we'll be continuing our series on the Vism Lookbook reviews. And for this video, we'll be doing the Fall Winter 1213 Lookbook. So let's get into it. So let's look at the first outfit. Uh, on the most outer layer, he's wearing this uh, super rare Lermo robe. And I believe that they line those with alpaca. Uh, really, really cool piece. I really don't see them so often or listed often. so. You know that it's super rare. Uh, under that, he's wearing this uh, Kilgore jacket, as you can see. Um, obviously, it has military inspirations, uh, maybe from the M65 jacket. He uses this really nice cotton, and they damage it to make it feel like worn in and vintage. I actually never owned this piece. If any of you guys have a size 3 or size 4 and interesting in letting it go, I would be interested in purchasing it. Uh, really, really cool piece. Under that, he's got this black elk chambray, and this actually uses uh, Luxic cotton, which is uh, American Sea Island cotton. So it's uh, super, super high quality, super luxe. Um, it's a really nice piece and super versatile. You can use it in any season, really. Uh, under that, he's wearing a Vism Social Sculpture denim, and uh, their Social Sculpture denim is their custom Japanese uh, vintage loomed denim. Uh, so, and they're super soft hand feel, really, really cool jeans, and super high quality. Uh, the Damage 9, you can see that the fading on it, super natural, uh, really, really cool piece. Uh, all their denim features this really, really uh, interesting indigo dyed suede uh, elk leather patch at the back, um, and then a hidden zipper pocket as well. Uh, on the feet, he's wearing these grizzly boots. I believe they used antelope leather back in this year. Uh, really, really cool detailing, uh, the stitching, and the stacked heel. I've actually never owned this piece as well. If any of you guys have a size 8 or 8.5, I'd be interested in purchasing them as well. So for the second outfit, Hiroki put him in this antique blanket that he probably sourced himself. Under that, he's got the PFD jacket, and the PFD stands for Personal Flotation Device Jacket. And I believe they named it that because of uh, the inspiration from the military. The collar... It's actually supposed to be inflatable and help you uh, stay afloat if you're drowning. Uh, Gore-Tex, so you know it's waterproof and all that jazz. Under that, he's got this really, really understated uh, button-up, but it actually uses uh, West Indian Sea Island cotton, which is the rarest and, and most expensive cotton in the world and the best quality. Uh, so it really shows that Vism can be understated, but still uh, focusing on quality. Uh, under that, he's got high water chinos, super typical, um, and then these really cool Yukamox. This shoe doesn't get like nearly enough praise as, as it should. Uh, you know, hand stitching just like the F FBTs on the toes, uh, leather laces, and this actually uses indigo dyed uh, a vegetable tan suede on these. So really, really cool piece. Outfit three. This is one of my favorite outfits of the lookbook. Uh, he's wearing on the outside art, an artifact coverall, and this actually uses uh, the same social sculpture denim we discussed earlier. Uh, super cool, versatile piece, and the denim is super lightweight, so you can wear it in any seasons and layer it really nicely. Under that, he's got this artisan smock. Uh, these, I don't see these too often, so I think they're pretty rare. Um, and you can see in the picture they use the same pattern in the shoes and in the bag. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure these are hand painted. So that's really, really cool. Um, I would really love to own a piece like this. Under that, he's got a super understated button up. But um, the difference with this is this IT. So this uh, pattern check right here and on the sides, that's Italian fabric. So it's like really cool. I I'm not sure if they make the uh, this other cotton in Italy, but the tag right here says made in Italy, so I'm guessing. So it's a really cool piece. Under it, uh, infantry pants. So this is inspiration from uh, World War II infantry pants that they used to wear. Um, Hiroki loves to take inspirations from military workwear and stuff like that and put like a Japanese twist on it. Um, you can see with the belt, that's like a Japanese twist. And you, you can see my favorite part of the outfit, the Skagway highs. Um, using the same fabric in the artisan smock. Uh, really, really cool piece. It's got uh, suede detailing on the tongue and uh, a cool hand stitch detailing at the back of it. 
So next outfit, we have the uh, Sanjuro kimono, and it uses this nice brown, brown cotton. Really cool Japanese inspiration for this jacket. It's got um, halfway cut sleeves, um, kimono style card um, neckline, and cool hand stitching at the cuffs, sleeve cuffs, and um, the bottom hem. Uh, wearing the same high water chino seen before, and then these F FBT uh, shamans. These are actually made in Japan. That's what the JP stands for. So you guys know this shoe right now. I really don't have to talk about them, but super luxe suede, super cool silhouette. I love them. Okay, outfit number five. So again, he's wearing an antique blanket. Um, Hiroki loves to source antique things, like I said. Under it, he's got this K2 parka. I've never seen this ever, so I looked it up. I can barely find pictures on it. So either people didn't really like it or it's uh, super rare. Um, uses Gore-Tex again, so it's uh, waterproof. It's a really, really cool um, parka. Under that, he's got a, a corduroy Academia blazer, and it's really cool soft, soft shoulders and soft suiting that they do. They've been doing it for the entire uh, line for you know 20 years. So it's really cool to see them stay consistent with that. And the corduroy they use is super soft and super has a super cool texture on it. Uh, under that, he's got this really cool four corner shirt and it's actually uses Egyptian Giza 45 cotton, uh, which is Egypt's most luxurious cotton and most expensive. And it's a really, really nice um, soft hand touch. This shirt actually uses the same cotton and super lightweight, I love it. Uh, the check pattern on it is actually great too. Um, super versatile. Okay. Oh, and uh, he's also wearing high water chinos in that same Giza fabric and these uh, patrician low folks. Um, really cool understated derbies. Nice uh, vegetable tanned leather, all black. Really nice piece. Um, you can see the lamel uh, robe that I discussed earlier. This is in the black. Again, um, alpaca lining. These are so rare, I can't even, <laughs> like I've never seen them. Um, I think I've seen them sell a little bit, but very, very rare and expensive. Uh, below, he's got these insulator vest, and this is all PZ fabric on the outside. And I believe it has a suede uh, collar detailing. I don't see these sell that much too, uh, or listed. Super rare, super nice. Uh, under that, he's wearing this uh, bunion shirt in uh, denim. Really, really cool shirt. You see it's got the uh, the Lambo sleeves and then a really cool mandarin collar. I like that shirt a lot. Under that, you can see he's got a JV hoodie. You can see like the layering is just layer on layer. Hiroki is so good at putting um, these lookbooks and looks together and it's super uh, consistent. Uh, this again uses the American Sea Island cotton, super soft and luxurious hand feel. The boots, uh, plat boots, I actually don't hear about these or see these too often, but it looks like they use a really nice damaged leather processing. Uh, really, really cool uh, vibrant, uh, I th think these are called the gum light soles. Um, and then a leather heel tab. Really, really interesting boot. So outfit number seven. He's wearing the uh, artifact coverall. We saw that earlier in the social sculpture denim, but now we're seeing in this yellow corduroy. So it's a really cool, versatile piece. More for the spring or summer. I don't think this color would work for the fall. Under it, he's got this really, really nice uh, 101 jacket in Italian suede. Uh, these, these jackets are amazing. Um, I really, really would like one. Under that, he's got a Social Sculpture Four Corner shirt. I actually just figured this out. I don't know why it took me so long, but this looks a lot like the Social Sculpture shirts. But the difference, the only difference is the four corners. It's got an extra corner right there on the sleeves. So it's one, two, three, four. And the Social Sculpture only has these two corners right here. So again, uses a custom eight ounce Okayama uh, uh, salvage denim. These shirts are really nice. I actually just bought two and they're on their way and uh, they should be listed on the grill soon. 
Uh, and then this is his scarf that he's wearing. It's called a Weaver's Stole. This is actually Modal and Cashmere uh, mix. It's a really, really nice piece. Um, not really a big fan of scarves, but uh, again, Hiroki knows how to make it work. Um, he's wearing uh, Fluxus O3 uh, chinos, which is like a slim cut and uh, just a 12 chino fabric. And then he's wearing these Piu's Trekkers. These, I don't know if you guys know Chris Union. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Chris, uh, what's his name? Chris from Union, the, the store. I forget his last name. But the, he made a post with uh, Old Vism Never Dies, and these shoes were on him. And he says that these are one of his favorite shoes that Vism ever made. Um, let's see, outfit eight. This is another one, another outfit that I love. Again, Hiroki uh, putting him in a uh, antique blanket, and another parka that I've really never seen. There's a lot of pictures out there. Super really cool detailing, two pockets on the front, and some snap buttons. Uh, Gore-Tex, so you know it's waterproof. Um, super cool piece. Under that, it's got a social sculpture 102 jacket. So the only difference between this and the 101 is it only has one pocket on the side. Um, really cool damage processing and the salvage denim discussed earlier. Under that, it's got a bead shirt, uh, or beads BD shirt, I'm sorry. And it uses the same keys to cotton, uh, Egyptian cotton that was discussed earlier. And really simple piece, just has a really cool um, hand stitch detailing right there with uh, beads, I imagine. Uh, under that, he's just got some Fluxus cords, same cord already used on the coverall and uh, the blazer discussed earlier, super soft, super nice. And you can see the fade on, on them, it looks really nice. And then he's wearing this flint high on the bottom. And these flints are really cool. It's almost like a chukka boot, but uh, with a sneaker sole. And it's got uh, custom uh, PZ laces and lining right here. And then a nice vegetable tan suede. So this next outfit, I only uh, picked out two pieces because I couldn't really find the other ones. Um, this is the Pawnee jacket in corduroy. So you can see that they're using a lot of corduroy for this season, which is really nice. Um, really cool jacket. It's almost got like a Japanese inspiration with Mandarin collar. Um, really nice jacket. And then he's wearing these pound maker boots, which they just redid, I believe, for last season or this season. Um, really nice leather, leather laces, and a lug sole. So super heavy duty boot. Next outfit, you can see he's doing another Lamo rope. This one actually has a leather line, um, a leopard pattern lining. I don't know if it's alpaca, but um, really, really cool. Super, super rare. I've never ever seen that on Grilled or any other uh, selling websites. And this is another one. This is a, a uh, pullover cowichan. Um, really cool. I believe these are hand knitted. Um, awesome piece. Under that, he's got a bandito shirt. You can see it come, came in three colors. So this is a lot like the uh, social sculpture for um, shirt, but just not in the social sculpture denim. Obviously, just in um, this custom cotton that they made. And then he's wearing these uh, uh, social sculpture slim chinos. So it's the Chino Silhouette using Vizum Social Sculpture Denim. Uh, next outfit, um, I didn't list them. The Artifact Coverall that he's wearing in the um, Kilgore jacket, we saw those before. Uh, under that, he's wearing this antique border shirt. And he, they don't list it, but he's also wearing a, a button up under that. So it's a really cool layering effect that I really like. High water chinos like we saw before and the FBT Shamans that we saw before. So next outfit, this one's super simple. Um, Albacore shirt, and this IT means that, uh, again, made in Italy, this floral pattern. Really, really nice, understated piece. And then he's wearing the uh, Soul Sculpture 04 D9s that we saw before. And then the Flint Highs, again, the PZ, but just in a different color suede. So you see the PZ lining and the PZ uh, laces. And then he's wearing this Ridges pocket tee. I couldn't really find pictures on it, but it just looks like a regular pocket tee in red. 
Um, this I couldn't find good pictures of, but this is a button up with beading um, detailing all the way down. And then another artisan smock using uh, American Sea Island cotton. Couldn't find any other pictures of it, but it's the uh, same silhouette as the artisan smock seen before with the, uh, with the Oka pattern. Uh, let's see. Next one, uh, Academia Blaze and Corduroy. We saw that before. Uh, Deadwood Chambray shirt is under it uh, with a bow tie. Um, the chambray shirt is a lot like the chambray shirt we saw before. Super simple, two pocket, uh, chest pockets, um, versatile piece. I really like it. Uh, let's see. And then he's wearing a Social Sculpture 03 unwashed. So there's no wash process on these for the raw denim. Uh, and he's wearing the Renos. We saw those before. This is just a lighter uh, sand suede. I believe this is, has like natural crepe rubber and all that stuff. Uh, this outfit. So he's wearing a, a Naragi in, uh, in a Chino fabric. I really like these. I, I'm not sure how if I could pull off the uh, three quarter sleeve length. But a uh, really versatile piece. Under that, he's got the 101 jacket. We saw the 102 before. As you can see, this just has two chest pockets. That's the only difference. And then he's wearing this Five Nation shirt. Um, this pattern looks like the same pattern from the uh, Four Corner shirt we saw before. And uh, the only difference between the Five Nation is they put this uh, this like red square detailing, or it doesn't have to be red, but any color square detailing on the front. He's wearing the same, uh, the chinos we saw before in a tan, and the Folu Folk highs. I do not like these at all. <laughs> I don't really know what they were going for with these, but uh, some people might like them. Uh, next, he's wearing the uh, 101 jacket in Italian suede that we saw before. Under that, the Sanjura kimono, we also saw that before. And as the final inner piece, a black elk flannel in Italian kaim. Um and you can see the made in Italy right there and a really nice uh, lining detailing that they have in them. Uh, high water chinos and these FPT opians from Japan. These these are awesome. Um, I'm not really sure what the opian stands for but it might be this uh, certain hand stitched uh, detail that, that, that they put on the uh, flaps. Um, really really cool piece. Uh, for the outermost male uh, layer, you have the uh, Elmendorf in Italian leather. Um, I imagine that these look amazing when they're worn in after uh, 10 years. Uh, looks really, really super soft and uh, luxurious. And then he's wearing a Social Sculpture 04 non-wash. The non-wash uh, is a raw denim, and they don't actually wash, wash the denim. They chemically... Uh, put damage on it without washing it. So it's a really cool process. And then wearing the plate boots that we saw before in a darker brown. Next outfit, we have the uh, Ganzu blazer um, in Ital uh, made in Italy. It's actually used as African indigo. So this is like a, a super, super rare piece and each piece is unique because they uh, source this indigo for each piece. Under it, he's wearing a, um, a social sculpture for a corner shirt. We saw that before. And under that, an antique beads tee. So it's a t-shirt and literally they just stitch beads. Um, kind of looks like a necklace when you're wearing it. It's really, really interesting. Uh, slim Chino in Giza fabric and the plate boots. So we saw these before, but the only difference is this actually has an N stitched on the, uh, on the toe and it has PZ uh, laces as well. Super interesting. I don't really know what the N stands for. Uh, maybe it was a collab that they did, but um, I'm pretty sure these are really rare. Next outfit, uh, we have the capote jacket. This looks like a military inspired Sherling jacket. Um, really, really cool double breasted uh, pockets. Uh, I'm sorry, buttons and some cool leather details on it. Under that, he's wearing a, a Lambo shirt. Um, I believe that this is, uses a, 
a linen and cotton blend. And you can see the uh, really nice fading process on it. It's really cool. I actually, actually am looking for a limo shirt like this. So if you guys have a size three or four, it'd be interesting in purchasing. Under that, he's got a mud dye Pauline hoodie. This actually uses the same Egyptian cotton and a uh, really, really nice hoodie. I know it's blurry, but um, I imagine it's super soft and the patina on it after uh, a few years with that mud process would be really nice. Under it, he's wearing this Henley, which uh, has uh, Amdo uh, detailing at the neck. Um, super cool, uh, versatile piece again. And then he's got these uh, natural indigo dyed fluxus chinos and uh, gal boots. I've actually never seen these boots and I don't really get any praise. Um, I think they're really nice, really nice leather. Looks like they would last a long time. I don't know if I like the uh, the black sole. I think it would look better with the uh, off-white, um, the vibram sole they usually use, but it's pretty cool. Outfit 19, he's got a Deccan jacket. And this one is, again, inspired by military uh, uh, workwear and jackets and shirling collar and a shirling lining. Uh, under that, he's got a bunion shirt and uh, Egyptian Giza. Really cool pattern. Mandarin collar, super nice. Um, and then he's got a beads pullover hoodie. I couldn't find the one in red that you see here, but it's literally just a pullover hoodie with... Um, beads stitched onto it so it's a really nice just subtle detailing on it under that he's got a social sculpture shirt we saw the earlier um, natural dye fluxes uh, um, just the chinos and a uh, we have Sarah uh, PZ boots so you've seen these boots before all the all that's different it just has PZ uh, laces really really cool uh, hiking boot that they make uh, for Alfred 20, we got a crochet cardigan. It's actually naturally dyed. Um, I believe Gian, just Gian2 on Instagram. I don't know if you guys follow him, but he just posted a bunch of pictures of these. Super, super nice. Um, these were hand knit by Golden Hook, which is like a, a company that is known for their hand knitting. And each one is signed by the, the granny that they like that knit it. So. Um, I know one of them, one of their names is Simone, and you see that a lot. Um, really interesting piece. Under that, he's got the same bunion shirt we saw before, Egyptian Giza, really cool cotton fabric, and uh, uh, maroon fluxus corduroys. Next one, we got the Commodore coat. I don't really see this one that often, but again, military inspiration. Uh, really, really nice. Looks like a, a soft cotton that they used. Uh, under that, we have a turtleneck sweater. Again, a uh, versatile piece that you can use in the fall winter. Uh, under that, the bandito shirt we saw before in a dark indigo. Uh, natural dye fluxus 03s, and then the tracker boots. I'm not really sure. I think it was John Mayer that said in an interview, uh, I don't know what the who it was with, but he said that these boots were like his favorite boots of all time and the best ever made. Um, really interesting uh, um, check patterns and details on it. Uh, Sherling lining, leather laces, really interesting. I think that's a natural rubber outsole as well. Next one, we have the Hudson jacket. So this is all leather and then uh, lined with Sherling. And I'm not sure what fur that they use on the hood, but it looks like a super warm, uh, really expensive jacket. Um, um, Riri zippers, all the jazz, leather uh, detail pockets, really, really cool piece. Under that we see, again, the insulator vest in PZ fabric. Um, actually looks like they used bandana uh, detailing right here and uh, corduroy for the pockets. Really, really cool. Under that, it's got the Sturgis sweater. The sweater is super rare with the American flag um, stitching and detailing. I like that a lot. And then under that, we have a black elk flannel and brushed Giza. If any of you guys have this flannel, I, I love it with this pattern. Um, hit me up because I will purchase. And let's see. And that's it. And if you guys like videos like this, please consider subscribing. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. 
thank you for watching my videos. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I think I'm going to, you know, I was busy from uh, college and all that stuff, but I think I'm going to start posting again soon. Um, thanks for watching and have a good one.